Hello and welcome to Dragantas Dragons, your favorite horned lizard channel. In this video I'll show you how I set up arid enclosures for desert horned lizards. The base is a wooden box measuring 100 by 100 by 70 centimeters. On the one side I drilled two 18 mm holes to pass through silicon hoses for the feeding and watering system. For the watering system I kept off the silicon hose and drilled um, holes about every 5 cm to distribute the water evenly in the deeper substrate layers. It is then laid out over the whole enclosure and secured with rocks. After we covered that we can take care of the basking area. From my stockpile of rocks I look for suitable ones that match the overall appearance of the habitat I want to replicate. Horned lizards love to dig for thermal regulation and egg laying. It's important to have the decorations and uh, rocks secured to re uh, prevent undermining. For that I use old bricks to raise up and secure the basking area. Um, beforehand it should be about 10 cm above your desired substrate depth, which is in this case about 30 cm. The light is pretty straightforward. I use a combination of different light sources to mimic the natural sunlight as close as possible. For this enclosure I use a luminized LED bar and a Pro T5 12%. Um, also a Sunzi LED grow light, an incandescent spotlight for infrared and a non-UVB producing metal halide. It's important to mix light sources that are good in one area to ensure the welfare of the reptiles. To mimic the substrate in the desert I tested and researched it for many many years. I also have friends that collect data for me. The key is to build different layers that vary in the mixture to retain water in its lower layers and um, let it pass through to keep it dry in the top layers. We want to have a nice mix that holds burrows as well. The substrate mixing is done in three parts or layers. I will add the receipt in the video description. For the first layer which consists of about 10 to 15 centimeters I use a mix of organic topsoil, play sand and natural clay. The ratio is one part uh, topsoil one part play sand and 0.2 parts clay. For measuring that I use um, 10 liter buckets and cups. For mixing all the substrate together I use concrete mixing tubs. While I'm mixing the substrate make sure to like and subscribe the video. Thank you! After I mix the first batch I also add water and another batch because I um, put in 10 liters. Um, it's important to hydrate the substrate and mist through the whole layer construction to keep it moist and saturated. You want a really muddy consistency. Make sure you distribute it evenly and compact it so um, you can add in the other layers without having air pockets and uh, breaching through. We repeat that until we reach the desired substrate depth. So we can start with the next layer. The next 10 cm or middle layer of substrate we alter the ratio towards the play sand. It's about one part topsoil, 1.5 parts play sand and 0.2 parts clay. This will retain the water to an extent but let it pass down in the deeper substrate layer. At this point I also start to incorporate the first decorations and brushes. In nature horned lizards um, also use burrows to hide so, uh, or thermal, uh, thermal regulate. So I replicate that as well um, with a piece of cork tube. Mm -hmm. 
Before that I installed my end fitting system. How I made this you can find in my previous video. Those are succulents I found in the garden store that matches the overall look of the habitat. Later I will also plant creosote and sage in this enclosure as soon as they are big enough. If you are not able to source plants from the habitat, find substitutes. We will lean more towards function. We also want to provide cover, shade and humidity spots. The decoration I source is from outside on a field nearby. I rinse them off and bundle them with zip ties to plant them into the substrate. Make also sure you uh, space the brushes and decorations um, so the animals can fit through. Now to the final layer of substrate. The top layer brings all of it together and resembles the overall look. For the top layer I use a mix of different materials like basalt, lava rock, play sand and the Exoterra stone desert product. This layer is also key to camouflage for horned lizards. It's important to match the markings on the back of the and the base color of the species. Uh, for desert horned lizards it can vary a lot depending on the area and the state they are located in. For this mix I sift through play sand and old substrate until I have about 10 liters um, of, of fine sand. Uh, this is by the way a basket I found at IKEA. Very very useful for substrate building. Uh, then I add in a whole bag 10 kilograms of the Exoterra Stone Desert. Here it's the Sonoran Ochre and also Ballast Rock and that gives it a little bit more structure. This mix is um, roughly one part play sand, one part exoterra product, a little bit of clay and basalt until it looks right. In the end I throw in a little bit of wood chunks and then substrate I sift through to give it a little bit more variety. If we compare to the substrate in nature, it comes pretty close. After a good misting, we can let it cycle for about one week. And if everything is done and right, we can release our inhabitants in our piece of nature. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.